All right, folks, the lighting on this one's not going to be that great, but today's topic is UV. This place, just like most cottages, many cottages, I should say, I shouldn't say most, not a good assumption, but in my part of the world, most cottages are fed by lake water, and this cottage is no exception. With that said, I already installed the UV. I figured having you guys watch me assemble the parts on a board would be kind of a boring video. So I just did it all and I'm gonna show you what I did and why I did it. And uh, if that's helpful for one or two, then this little clip will be totally worth it. Onward. Step one, crawl into the crawl space. Okay. So, there it is. As you can see, it's mounted horizontally, which I contacted the manufacturer and they said it was A-OK, -okay as long as the exit pipe pointed up so that there were no air gaps and so on. But uh, this is it. So from the beginning, Water comes from the lake, from the pressure tank. Step one, five micron sediment filter. Yeah, it's small. It's what was already here. That goes doop, 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 into here. Notice how the PEX ends here. UV deteriorates the PEX. I use shark bites because I'm lazy and I added a drain so that it just makes replacing filters much, much easier. But more on that later. So I've got PEX running down, shark bite, drain, copper pipe, about a foot worth of it. And then I've got my UV, which has this fancy pants counter on the top. That 359, all that means is remaining days on the light bulb. Am I going to replace the light bulb after 359 days at about $120 a bulb? No, probably not. But what I will do is I'll buy one and then I'll wait for it to burn out. The system is supposed to have an audible alarm that sounds when the bulb goes out. So that's what I'm going to wait for. If I get two years out of it, great. If I get a year and a day out of it, well, I got a bonus day. From there... I've got more copper coming up. Shark bite, shark bite. The plastic sleeve, make sure you remove it when you're working with copper. You don't need them with copper, only, uh, only PEX pipes. So it comes through and then it's brass, I guess, straight into the copper. The rubber o-ring that's inside of the shark bite is not exposed to the UV, so we're good to go there. Another ball valve. And uh, from there, it just goes into the house. I've got my hose bib going that way. And then coming around this way, I've got it going into a one micron carbon filter, which feeds the, uh, the kitchen sink. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's quite simple. Very, very simple. The, um, I haven't had the water tested. I will. It's not free in this part of the world, unfortunately. However, I found a lab that only charges 45 bucks. So it is what it is. The amount of UV that it introduces to the water is supposed to be four times stronger than what you actually need to kill the bacteria, which means a lot to me because it's lake water. I want those critters dead. No messing around. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, folks. For UV, it's very simple. It's active sanitizing, so you still need to be careful. Power outages and all that. Mind you, there's the argument that if you lose power, you also lose water. That is true. But um, the the uv it happens after the pressure tank so theoretically you could lose power 
and still, you know, be able to pour lots of water out of your glass and so on and whatever. So you just got to be careful. You got to be aware. You got to keep an ear out for the alarm if the bulb burns out. Other than that, you're sort of doing what you can to prevent unwanted tummy aches. Also worth mentioning, as far as electrical, it's just plugged into an outlet. I have it plugged into the same 110 that my pump is plugged into. That way, when I leave this place, I can just flip the breaker and everything shuts off together. I don't need this bulb just lit up in sitting water for two weeks at a time if I'm not up here. All right, folks, that pretty much wraps this up. It's a very simple system, very basic. Hope it was helpful to one or two of you. If you like cottagey type of stuff, there will be more coming down the line. And uh, I'd love it if you would join me. And see you in the next one. Cheers.